What up, Man and Officers? Your boy Shocker 360 from ManandAlsters.com, and here we go with another Man and Ultimate Team video. We are actually in Season 7, Week 1, and we're gonna go ahead and play a lot of Man and Ultimate Team, and we're gonna try to get as many coins as possible. And my goal in Man and Ultimate Team is to get my team to be a 90 overall team. I really want this team to be an elite team, and we are already in the All Pro first string uh, level here in Man Ultimate Team. So we're gonna be playing a lot of top-notch players. And guess what is double coin weekend. So if you win a game, you get like, instead of getting a thousand, you get 2,000, 3,000. So you're gonna get a lot of coins this weekend. So I'm trying to get a lot of coins this weekend actually, so I can get a, my team uh, up there. So we got, we did get Cushing, some middle linebacker, as you guys can see here, I have him here trying to blitz in that, uh, you know, for the ninjas and he actually got the first down because I ran commit, which is fine. It's okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him that. But uh, yes, our team is an 86 overall, so I'm four points away to uh, for my team to be a 90 overall. So I need a couple of players here and there, just move a couple of players from different positions, get uh, some elites up there, and definitely I'll start uh, my overall, getting my overall a lot higher. So uh, here we go. We're playing uh, the Seahawks defense and we're playing the Carolina offense. I also like to run Saints offense and I like to run Denver offense. Every now and then I like to just switch it up. You know, I don't like to just stay in one playbook because I like to learn, uh, or they're very similar playbooks, but I like to learn different formations from other playbooks that might help me whenever I need them for a tournament. Especially uh, when I play online tournaments, you're allowed to use custom, so I could use some of those formations and put them into my custom playbooks and then keep them fresh in my mind. And you know, every little thing that I find, I, you know, I always remember when to use them and how to use them and can be effective against different opponents. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to help you guys uh, set up a scheme for Man Ultimate Team. Some of you guys wanted me to make a guide just for Man Ultimate Team on how to get coins, how to, you know, how to, where to, I guess, uh, you know, collectibles that you could do, use, or uh, collect, so you can go ahead and massive coin, like, like Joe King Giant, I think the other day he got around 300,000 coins, man, which was awesome, and at the same time, uh, you guys wanted a defensive and offensive scheme that's going to be easy, not only to beat players, like I'm right here, like, like live players, but to beat the computer easily, so... Because you guys, of course, this game is about getting coins and building your team to the best of, uh, that you can. You know, get them up there, get the best players on your team. So, um, by the way, I'm uh, pretty sure there's going to be tournaments for Madden Ultimate Team in the future. So, you guys got to be ready for that. So, start getting your teams ready. A lot of top players uh, I've seen have been playing Man Ultimate Team uh, a lot. So, you know, I've been playing Man Ultimate Team as well. But my first goal, like I told you guys, was to get to the top 100. And I'm now... On the top 100 so i'm gonna play like around two to three rank matches not a lot of rank matches because i want to maintain my uh, ranking uh, so uh you know i don't want to really risk my account to just uh, you know play four or five games a day like i used to so i play like two or three rank matches a couple of money games and then definitely spend my time practicing and playing here in man ultimate team and getting my team better every single time i play so here we go we got one second left in the second quarter and I'm gonna throw it deep to Jackson and we don't do get anything. So we're down by seven in this game. Again, we're playing in the all pro first string. It's a lot harder now because I could tell this guy has some legends and he has some uh, elite players on his squad. So uh, it all depends on the scheme that you're running as well. But sometimes, you know, the, the team is so overpowered power that uh you know any little hit you fumble any little thing they, they pick up a ball so it makes it really frustrating when that happens man or you cannot run the ball against certain players if they have a mall stacked or depending on what they got on defense if they got all zone players it's gonna be hard for you to throw or you got some run stopping defense they got all run stoppers it's gonna be hard to run the ball same thing with offense if you got a, a ground and pound offense they're gonna run the ball on you you know they're gonna block a lot better they got uh then a short pass and a long pass. So you gotta be really careful with all those types of uh, things to mix that are mixed up in Man Ultimate Team that some players just don't know. So I know I know Joking Giant has a ground and pound team. I have a mixed team. I don't even have anybody like that, but I, I've been looking into stuff like that. You know, that Man Ultimate Team players probably don't know uh, to get their team a lot better. Really, it also comes if you have a good scheme, guys, and you have a ground and pound team and you have a good offensive scheme definitely that's going to help you out a lot more so um i'm here to help you guys out with the scheme i know dark uh, joking giant he has uh his team as a ground and pound overall he's probably one of the best ground and pound teams i ever seen 
in my life. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and try to stop this guy right here lurking in the middle of the field. There, we got him. Nope, we missed him, man. That was a really close play. Should have had that pick there. We don't get it. He comes out on the screen, and he's running it to the outside, and this game is going to go down to the wire, guys. Three minutes, 14-14 in this game. I got to lock him up. Like I said, some of these players are good, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of these players get those, you know, those wins, and, you know, those lucky wins that you never expect, and because their team is actually stacked up, you know, it's really hard to defend or it's really hard to just adjust especially i hate playing against players that run five white screens try to block the field goal here that should have been a block man i was so close to blocking that one i don't get it so uh 14 17 right here we're gonna go ahead and move the ball again we're playing a carolina scheme right here and we have a nice uh wide receiver open right there for a nice game again we're gonna go ahead and run down this is the deep out or what is it the deep oh, i forgot the name of the play but this is a nice play i like to this is a really nice money play actually guys you guys haven't used this place is really nice and you could uh, definitely get a lot of yardage here here we go got sanders coming across the field and we get another first down 30 seconds we're 20 seconds left on the clock look at this shit. we got circle wide open our reach is down pack we're dotting up people man and here we go 21 17 this game is over i got a, this is a cover four guys this is a cover four all right i got everybody covered deep guess what here we go. Oh, shit. No way. He caught the ball for a touchdown the last couple of seconds of the game. He got me, man. This is the shit I'm talking about, man. This game was locked down. It was a good game. I should have won this game. Should have got quarter three deep, but I didn't. And he got me. He got me good. I thought I was going to get that edge blitz, and I didn't get it, man. He got me 24-21, so I lost my first uh, season seven game, which is fine. It's okay. We still got a lot more games to play. So um, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, guys. If you guys want to trade, I'm going to show you guys my my team. And I can go ahead and trade with you guys or, or, you know, sell you guys some of my players cheaper than what you see in the market. Or we could, you know, negotiate some stuff. I need some stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll help you guys with some of the stuff you guys need. So there's your boy, Shaka Tracy from Manos.com. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Bye. I'm here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy Shock360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.